Right up there. Can you hear that, Captain? Yeah. Can everybody hear it? Yeah. I got it. You got you? Yep. Got you. Everything else is on. We have uh what's up? It's the Captain's Jug of Thoughts. We got a full house in here tonight. We, we got, got a full house. People on the couch, we got people on the floor. <laughs> we got some guys that are gonna hop in once they get a couple more beers in them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you always get the dudes they staring at the microphone and then they're like, All right, I'm ready. All right, I, hop think, in. I think I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. It's everyone's like, No, I'm not gonna talk on the thing in ten minutes. It's like yeah, the third uh, headphones suck. <laughs> So is that anything? Yeah, I'm good. good. Yeah? Yep. All right, nobody move. Nobody move. The um nobody get hurt. But it's the uh yeah, everybody's always like, I'm not gonna say anything and then ten minutes in we say something that gets them going. Yeah. And they're like, Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Objection from the crowd. <laughs> yeah. You should just hover a mic Step over the up peanut to the mic. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, all right, man. So what's going on? I still feel like it's been a fucking month since the last one. I don't know why. I don't either. I've been doing a lot of shit in between every Wednesday, so it just feels like a long time ago that we did this. Right. I don't know what we talked about. I don't know if there's anything to follow up on. No mm, idea. Me either. <laughs> what um, is the show again? Who, <laughs> oh, who are you? Uh, we did just do the uh, pig roast. We did discuss the pig roast. Yeah. Well, we just did it. Yeah. So. So, Yeah. Um, it was good. It was good. Like the fucking pig was amazing. Uh, I sat out there all night. Yeah. With uh, Michael and uh, you know we had some fun. Because the pig was frozen, you had to give him a little bath. We had to give him a little bath. Put first. him in the jacuzzi. Yeah. And uh, he seemed to enjoy it. Yeah. Give him a little spa day before yeah. you fucking rip him apart. <laughs> right. Right. And then we stuffed him full of a bunch of shit and sewed him up and Hell put him yeah. on a spit. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. Yeah, and it was fantastic. The, the, it came out great. We stuffed him with uh, uh, fruit along with meat this time, okay. yeah. not just meat. A little healthy. Yeah. We're going green. Yeah. So I think it gave it a lot of extra flavor. Fuck yeah. That's yeah. like Hawaiians are like shove pineapples up its ass and then buried in the sand and right, roast right, it. Right, right, right. We know? used peaches. Nice. Yeah, they were great. So everyone seemed to Im- dude, enjoy it. The Almond Brothers would love that. I know. <laughs> There's some eat southern. A peach. There's some southern boys that's eat a peach that's roasted in a pig. Yeah, hell yeah, they would love it. Yeah. Um, can I ask a hilarious question? Sure. Did the Bills lose? <laughs> they did not. They didn't. <laughs> they I won. I have no idea. They they completely dominated the Jets. They only won by ten, but they really? should. Have, yeah, but you know, once hell they yeah. were up by twenty one, they kind of just like sat on it. And, uh. You know, they finished it off when they needed to. Well, that's a good start, man. Yeah. One and oh, and now we're going to squish the fish this weekend. I told you, uh, you know, we talked about all this shit. And then Saturday, we uh, was uh, the skeleton crew. Well, you guys are having dinner at the Jug. And the uh, accompaniment band. Is it out again? Yeah. Why don't you just grab another one? The uh, We were having dinner at the Jug Saturday. And, the, and we were com- our meal was accompanied by a band called the Skeleton Crew. Yeah. It features a lot of local musicians playing some Grateful Dead music. Yeah, and they it was were great. fucking awesome. They God were. damn, they were good. I had a great time that night. And I was like, oh, man, I'm going to go fucking, uh, we'll be, yeah, we'll be come by tomorrow for the pig roast. Right. And I don't know, I just totally forgot about it. Yeah, you did. So, like, Saturday, Sunday afternoon, we're walking around Lewiston, and I'm like, who the fuck is everybody? <laughs> like, the whole time. Dude, that was, was so was funny dead. when I talked to you. <laughs> You're like, dude, I was walking around earlier, and I couldn't figure out where anyone was. And I was like, what? The town was just <laughs> dead. There was nobody out. And I'm like, this is kind of creepy. And then we walked into Tops, and it was, like, empty. And I'm like, what the fuck? Is there some, like, something happened, and I didn't get the memo? And they were like, what are you <laughs> doing outside? Something must be going yeah. on today. You're so, you got to be underground. <laughs> and uh, I, I hear from the TV in Tops the fucking... <laughs> 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 like, oh, All right. And the whole staff is sitting there watching the game. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. There's no one even, like... Uh, at the registers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just a ghost town. Major cultural event happening today yeah. for yeah. our uh, local region. I totally Opening, forgot. Opening, yeah, the Bills opener. Yeah, most important day of the year. But they looked great. Good, um, man. I mean, they got a couple of things that they got to fix, you know, like the Who fumbles. doesn't? But uh, Josh Allen threw for his first 300-yard game in his career, which was huge. It was actually the first time that the Bills threw for 300 yards and won since 2011. Look at you factoids. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know a couple things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So uh, that that's pretty exciting. And uh, he looked really good outside of the two fumbles. He his playing amazing. looked good. Oh, man, he looked great. Throw, throw, throw the word playing in that sentence. Well, I think everyone except for you <laughs> knows what I mean. He said it twice, though. Like, he looked really good. Yeah. <laughs> Put some little pants on. Well, you know, he's got that new mustache. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a sexy firefighter football guy. Mm, that's right. My, you know what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's good. That's yeah. a good start to the fucking season, man. It's a great start. Yeah. Um, on a down note, the fucking goddamn stars made the fucking uh, Stanley Cup. Which I'm really fucking pissed off about. The Dallas Stars? The fucking Dallas Stars. So, uh, you know, that's who uh, screwed us in Stanley Cup. No goal. We did an episode no about we, the no we goal. We sure did. So and they're back. Harboring a grudge. Uh, well, I don't usually harbor grudges, but when it comes to something like that, I can't help myself. Uh, yeah, dude, I that's kind of hate Well, them. shouldn't you be angry at the NHL themselves? Yes, I, I am, but I, I can't help If they help, cheated but, in our favor, we'd be like, fuck yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, Dallas, they fucking beat us in the Super Bowl twice. They beat us in the fucking Stanley Cup. I fucking hate them. Like, yeah. In general, I just hate them. <laughs> so, they killed Kennedy. Yeah, and they killed Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers. <laughs> fucking yeah. goddamn town. Even in the wonderful children's movie, Little Giants. The little kid football movie. The, yeah. the bad kid team was the Cowboys. See? Yeah. See what I mean? Which, as an adult, um, it's the same. It's Mighty Duck Syndrome again. You watch it as an adult, you're like, oh, the team that has their shit together are the bad guys? Yeah. No, fuck that. Like, they have, well, what, they have uniforms? Yeah, fuck them. They practice. Right. <laughs> like, they're champions. They earned it. This is bullshit. <laughs> the underdog stories are a lie. Right. <laughs> That's what's pussified this fucking generation. This is true. <laughs> So. Uh, so what else is going on? Um, I don't know. Um, today we're uh, well, we're making the sauce today. Starting cabin sauce. Yep, that cabin was one of the big is, uh, uh, positives of the weather getting colder. Was also the, the Buffalo football starting and captain's uh, sauces starting. That's right. Time for the sauce. Uh, I've been cooking it for I don't know three or four hours now. What time is it? Oh yeah, yeah, about four hours I think. Yeah, dude. So uh, we got about I don't know. Four more hours today, and then another four hours tomorrow, and wow. we should be good to go. You're going all in. Yeah, that's how I always do it, man. Is this what you learned from that Italian woman? I sure did. Yeah. Yep. Whose name shan't be said. It shall not. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, a friend of the you know who helped him along the way. Right. A culinary associate. Right. Friend of the devil. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You got um, the sauce cooking. Yeah, and uh, we're going to be doing chowder for the game this coming weekend. So it's going to be. Can you do dolphin chowder? Uh, Is that legal? Black and dolphin. Yeah, come on, do dolphin chowder. I, I, do the same thing really with a good. pig roast, but with a dolphin. Yeah. <laughs> did you see the uh, jets? Did you see the jets bandana that we put on the pig? No. Oh yeah, that's Fucking, hilarious. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> That's when they used to write, like, Hi Hitler on a bomb and then yeah. drop it on Germany. <laughs> we, we threw a Jets uh, bandana on the uh, on the pig and, and roasted the fuck out of him. <laughs> <laughs> sort of game like a Viking funeral. Yeah, kind of. The pig gets a little respect, like right. Darth Vader or something. Yeah. yeah. So that worked out pretty good. So are they not letting anybody at these games? No. Uh, what was there, like? Not yet, not yet. There was people at the Kansas City game, right? Yeah, they had uh, 12,000 people, I believe. Right. Yeah. Right. So well, let's all f- watch those people from a distance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and see how they're doing. Well, they're all looking at each other from a distance, too. Yeah. Like, hey, you went to that game they seat 14 75. days ago, didn't you? How they you seat 75,000, and they put 12,000 in there. So they're all like, mm-hmm. hey, there's my friend. Hey, yeah. put yeah. your binoculars on. You could actually it's still me. hear them a little bit. Too. <laughs> yeah. like, I was watching the game a little bit. You could, uh, They made some noise. Yeah, yeah. You could probably hear more specific shit, too. Oh, I'm like sure. Like someone shouts out, fuck you, Brady. <laughs> like, it's just, if there's 30,000 people True. doing it, it's just noise. But if it's right. just one specific guy, then he can look up and see who it was. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, oh, it's not just noise coming from a crowd. That it was that guy. guy. <laughs> you hear the couple arguing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, God damn it. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Where is this? Kansas City? Yeah. All right. Let's do, do it. it. Let's go to Kansas City. Well, Miami so. is uh, having fans this week. 
Yeah. Don, is that uh, where their bills are playing? That's where, yeah, that's where the bills are playing. So right. hopefully none of the bills get fucking COVID. <laughs> <laughs> it oh. is the epicenter. <laughs> do uh, they play? I mean, they have masks, but do they have masks under their masks? No. 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 They're, they're well, in a you're, you can wear them, but like. I feel like. I can't it, imagine. Yeah, that would be terrible. Yeah. Any Halloween gig. I've ever played where, like, we need to wear crazy masks. By the third song, you're just, like, sweat and snot. Oh, and right. You're like, fuck That's this. out the so window. Just rip yeah. it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah That's how no Fish way. started doing the Halloween costume, like, the musical costume. Because uh-huh. they were, like, wearing real costumes fucking sucks. Right. I don't and, know how Kiss did it for all those years. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't With all the heavy that. makeup and... Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, a lot of bands in the 80s did it. True. <laughs> <laughs> It's called makeup. It's called makeup. <laughs> yeah, I stumbled upon like some old like Motley Crue live in Vegas, like just like VHS footage. Right. Oh, oh God, it was gnarly. There. And it was just like they were just fucking around, like and they had the chicks dressed as nurses, like backups dancers, oh, yeah. and Tommy Lee spinning around and shit. Yep. Yeah, they were doing Doctor Feelgood. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's why they're dressed like nurses. They, they were, were living. Doctor- it. Yeah. And you're like, dude, this is fucking incredible. This is some <laughs> shit they ain't never gonna happen again. Right. Anything like this. Yeah. Nice. And then like Vince Neil runs around, disappears, and you're like, you know he's like doing a line of blow like off some titties right now yeah. while the band is still playing. Oh, yep. Yeah. And then he comes running out like Wow kind of He might have just got laid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Uh, those were the days. <laughs> we should do an updated All in the Family song. <laughs> <laughs> have an eighties night at the Jug. <laughs> yeah, eighties hair straight metal. Straight up eighties hair metal oh, night. Andy LaBarber would be very into that. Oh yeah. Because when yeah. we started learning Home Sweet Home and shit, like he, for G Spot Punchers, and we learned like we learned shout at the, we learned shout shout let it all out into shout at the devil. Nice. Sort of a there you go. Help Slipknot on the way, you know, yeah, help yeah, on the way yeah. Slipknot thing. And uh Andy was like on I like we were like this is hilarious and he's like unironically like loved it. Yeah. Which dude they're badass <laughs> riffs, man. Like Nicky no Sticks knew what he was doing. Like oh, he wrote yeah. some badass riffs. Yeah. Like, let's snort some meth off a fucking razor or something. Let's do some crazy <laughs> shit I've never done before. <laughs> I want to. Uh, I saw the Netflix movie The Dirt about them, and it was like it was very cute. I guess yeah, I don't know. it was yeah, very goofy and cute. It and wasn't blah, blah, blah. over over. Uh, it was a little too silly. I want to see. Uh, I, I want to read the book though. Yeah, because like, dude, those dude, that's like my shit right there. Good biography of like some real dark, heavy shit. Oh yeah, that Slashes man. is amazing. Yeah, I was just gonna bring that up. That's yeah, that's a really good movie. Well, Slashes Slash. the shit. I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, even like his mom was like a costume designer for like. You know, videos or something. Like she was like she like David David Bowie for a minute. And David Bowie would like mm-hmm. hang out when Slash was a little kid and like. Oh god damn it! I wish I knew the specifics. There's some story about Slash, like his mom and like like someone, some guy, like major guy. Maybe it was David Bowie or somebody didn't like Slash, like as like a punky little teenage kid. Sure. And then when Slash, it was I think it might have been David Geffen who was like, ah, fuck that kid. Oh, oh wow! Yeah, when he was, was like a little kid. That's and then was. when <clears throat> yeah. Guns N' Roses got huge, they signed him, and his name wasn't Saul Hudson. A, Hudson. Right. I almost said Saul Goodman. <laughs> Very different dudes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Saul. He didn't realize Slash was Saul Hudson, and like till the papers were signed. Oh wow! Because like he saw him play, and he's like. I know that fucking kid. <laughs> that kid who used to fucking try to fucking like I don't know. Fuck, I, I gotta you get, look it up. Google it. Bitch. Yeah, you guys will figure it out. Yeah, there's some story. I'm always good for like half a story. <laughs> well, half's all they need. <laughs> good. Half. It was extra entertaining when they figured yeah, it out. You gotta leave like, something whoa. to the imagination. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, speaking of the music <laughs> industry, did anybody see Kanye's antics on Twitter today? <laughs> no, Dude, you kind of half-ass told me earlier, but no, <laughs> I didn't see it. Oh, God, it just gets better and better. He's, like, talking about how contracts really fuck over artists, and in the time where usually artists make their money off merch and touring and shit, because uh, the companies own the masters, and that's where all the money is, as far as, you know, if you're listening to it. Now that concerts are dead, these fucking people are, like, fucked. Yeah. And... 
you know, he's trying to get the companies to give him a fair shake of their masters, which sure. it has been going on since day one. Like, Elvis got fucked over. Like, the music industry has been fucking over the artist since day one. Yeah, absolutely. He's totally 100% right in that. That's what he, what I just said is what he was saying in 457 manic ass fucking tweets with like skiing emojis and shit emojis and like y'all motherfuckers better not fuck with me like and then he put out a video which I, he he screenshotted every page to his contracts and tweeted them out which i think is probably super illegal oh i'm sure mm -hmm. and then he was like i need drake and j cole on the phone right fucking now and i'm just watching i'm like i fucking love it i love it every minute because part of me also like i've been watching this guy for 20 years do this he goes outlandish, does some crazy shit, and he goes, oh, by the way, I got a record coming out. Yeah. The record's number one for the next 20 weeks, and it's a banger, and it's awesome. So yeah. I'm hoping just down the pike, he's got some cool shit that's about to come out. Right. But in the meantime, then he put out a video of him pissing on a Grammy. It was in his toilet. <laughs> and he's standing there, and you come see on. the Yeezy shoes, and you see like a line of piss, and he's pissing on a Grammy. And I'm like, this guy's my fucking hero. This guy fucking rules. And that, that's really amazing. That's really hilarious. It's hilarious. And it's like famous black hip hop, like mainstream guys are not supposed to do that. No. Like if Sid Vicious did it, people be like, that's iconic. Yeah. It's like, dude, he's doing that shit. He's like, fuck you. Yep. I also, he's he's it, fucking out of his mind. He's a crazy person. Well, yeah, we all know that. You don't make, yeah, but you don't make my beautiful dark twisted fantasy if you're normal. <laughs> or then everybody would do it. <laughs> There's right. only, only one guy could have made that record. He's a, you got to take the fucking eccentric with the, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whew. Pissing on a Grammy on Twitter. That's fucking, fucking funny. Fucking love it. Maybe he's gonna sell that now for double the value. Oh he my god! Will. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> well, then somebody responded to it with, "There was a video of years ago when Drake won his first Grammy. He was drinking champagne out of it. So they followed up the Kanye video with a video of Drake drinking out of oh, his god. Grammy." <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Yeah. What? What is that? <laughs> what is he drinking? That's hilarious. Oh, it's champagne. All right. All right. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> So, yeah, I just, you know, that's fucking hilarious. If I ever win any award, you know, even if it's a battle of the bands and they just give you, like, a gift certificate to Guitar Center, yeah. I'm just going to do a Twitter video of me pissing on it. Nice. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you laminate it first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna to need it. It's 300 bucks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm still using it. I'm still using it. It's a metaphor. I'm still a slave to the system. I just kind of wanted to do a funny video, too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, man. So I don't know what the fuck. I even it's still in a weird spot. But you know, uh, by the time this goes up, Friday the 18th, I'm having dinner at Milky's. I don't know about you. Oh yeah, Milky's on Elmwood. I'm going there for dinner. Best pizza logs in the city. Yeah, I heard, hands I down. Heard, yeah, I heard they're fantastic. This is like uh, like dinner. World War dinner starts at nine. First course is at nine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, limited seating, so you're gonna want to get there before they're out of pizza logs. Yep. Um, it, this is this is like in like old war times where they had to like do their like broadcast like CB shit, but use codes. You know yeah. what I mean? We got yeah. a Morse code Morse. on our gigs. Yeah. <laughs> they serve nachos there too. <laughs> they serve all sorts of shit. Yeah. It's yeah. It's a mixture between like fish lot food and like. You know, we, it's like soaked in like forty ounce. <laughs> it sounds delicious. I that's what it our nachos really would be. It's gonna be we juicy. Should, if that's the way, hypothetically, if that's the way it's got to be, you know, music's in, incidental to the dining experience. We come mm -hmm. up with shit on the menu that matches whatever's playing that night. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Beer battered. Yeah. Fish nachos. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't uh, ever book the butthole servers. <laughs> I don't know how we could. They uh, don't work well with this program. <laughs> No. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, that's good. That is good. <laughs> Did you guys hear about uh, who's playing Biden for Saturday Night Live this year? No. No. Jim Carrey. Really? Oh, yeah? Back into the fold. Wow. That should be, funny. That should be pretty funny. Yeah. Didn't he? Uh, Remember Fire Marshal Bill, the old senile yeah. guy? But that yeah. was from. Uh, uh, it's, yeah, yeah, well, all he has to do is that. Yeah. All he has to do is that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> talk that about was, some different um, shit. That was in Living Color. Yes. Did he Great ever show. go out for SNL? There's an amazing mm. list of people who auditioned for Saturday Night Live. And I don't know. He was on it a few times. I know that. But not well, as yeah, a but, member. Just as a yeah. Right. Like there was. A, yeah. Like he hosted. Yeah. He'll, he'll probably be on every episode this year. I oh, imagine if they're bringing yeah. him on to be, you know, with uh -huh. the president shit. Sure. 
That's going to be funny. That, fucking, uh, <laughs> that will be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I get every once in a while, I get in like a Chris Farley YouTube hole. Uh, and here it's the fucking him on Conan is just the he's the funniest motherfucker ever. No doubt. Like for real. Like absolutely. He would just and there's this video of him and Tom Arnold. They were shooting a sketch for like the Tom Arnold show or something where Chris is walking around a mall trying to pick up women. And there's one <laughs> and like one of them was like he had an orange and he's like can you help me start my orange? Because <laughs> like, I don't have any nails. Can you get my orange started? Yeah. And she, like, just weird shit. And there was one where he's walking past this woman, and she's, like, looking down. She's not even paying attention. And he waits until he's right next to her. And he does a classic Farley. He's like, holy shit! <laughs> and she jumps. He's like, you're beautiful! <laughs> she just starts, like, running away. And then he's like, bye. Bye. And she's just fucking, dude. And then there's, um... There's like an hour long YouTube thing that's like an audio documentary some guy put together of like all everybody who worked with him telling stories about him. Dude, it's fucking nuts. He's one of the, I've seen the that funniest too. shit he's done. Half of it wasn't even on camera or right. anything. It was just no. hanging out in the offices with his friends, just being a fucking. He lunatic. used to do those improv gigs and when he was yeah. in college with all and a bunch of people that ended up on Saturday Night Live as well. And yeah. They have some great stories about him. Yeah, that's where well, go back to Better Call Saul, Bob o- Odenkirk wrote for SNL and he wrote at Second City was like the improv thing yeah. in Chicago yeah. and he wrote the uh, I mean he based it off of Chris's character but the motivational speaker the Matt Foley yeah like Matt Bob, Foley. Bob Odenkirk <laughs> Better Call Saul wrote that ah, sketch okay. oh really yeah Wow. Fucking TV That's cool. history for you. There. Yeah. We were talking about Farley the other night. I don't know my neighbors' and, names, <laughs> and, 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 and like the, the group that I was talking to, none of them even knew who he was, and I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, "How the fuck do you not know who Chris Farley is?" Yeah, yeah that's oh, man. And they're like, um, you gotta do st- what, did, what, did, "What was he in?" And I was like, "What?" <laughs> I'm like, "I'm just gonna walk away right now." Yeah. Like, I'm like, otherwise, I'm just gonna get a little bit upset, and this yeah. is gonna be no fun for anybody. You could probably, start- or you could make their life by telling them. Yeah, you know, it doesn't go even watch make sense movies. though. You've never even fucking heard of him. <laughs> you could probably start doing like Tommy Boy quotes, and they'd be like, "Oh, they know what that uh, is." Maybe. You know, in a, in a van. If you said in a van down by the river they'd be like ah oh, maybe sounds like i they don't didn't know. know that yeah I don't know. I don't it, know. it didn't seem they seemed very aloof and that's one of those things where like he's he was quite an abrasive fella <laughs> where, like, you show him a youtube clip of him like taking his pants off and rolling around and yeah. screaming they might be like what and we're all crying laughing yeah. at this poor man and they're like well is he okay they're like no he's oh he's dead now oh he's super dead <laughs> oh he's been dead forever oh yeah no 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 he, he he just threw himself through tables and did mad drugs, and it was fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. can't believe you don't know who he is. <laughs> but there's a fucking video of him. He goes on Conan, and, and he goes to sing, and he sings. I put it on my Instagram. I was so fucking moved by it. He was singing this song, and it was like, I'm a clown, but I cry. And it was like kind of yeah. silly, but it was like serious. He was like, I make you laugh, and inside I'm sad. Mm-hmm. And then... At the end, like they play him off, he hits this high note, and everyone applauds. This was amazing performance, and he goes back to the, like the curtains, and they fall on him, and he gets all tangled up in him, like as the yeah. music's playing. <laughs> and it's just fucking hol- It was fucking brilliant. Everything he did was brilliant. Yeah, yeah. he was there, fucking amazing. There wasn't a bad sketch. No, not one. There. I mean, yeah, they're all pretty funny. Yeah, even the ones I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Swayze, yeah, oh, that was dance fucking incredible. Yeah, it was so close. But they said that was one of the ones, like Chris Rock and them with books said that was one of the ones that kind of fucked him up because like they were just making fun of the fat guy and he kind of like felt shitty about it. And they're like, I don't know, man. Like, but dude, just dance. Like, I, like they, they would have, it would have been funny if they gave him the job over Swayze at the end, right? But at the end of the sketch, they go, "Well, we can't argue you. You're fat." Yeah. yeah, it's like well, that probably like, and then you're like, why was he so sad? Yeah, <laughs> he was beloved. We went on the biggest we show in the world. Him. We <laughs> made him shake his fat body, and then we told him we can't hire him because he's happened? fat. Why did he have so many demons? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but uh, fucking yeah, he could All really right. dance for a fat man though, dude. He was Love amazing. It. <laughs> it was incredible. The way that, uh, yeah, he had some the, fucking agility on him. He really did. 
Um, the South Park boys are back at it again. <sighs> yeah, dude, we I'm very a excited. Pandemic for that. special next week. Yeah, oh, yeah, next Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. so we're gonna fucking right. wrap this shit up early That's next week. Gonna be hilarious. <laughs> we have to wrap this shit up early next week. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. time is it at? I don't eight. know. I think eight. it's eight. They're doing yeah. a whole. Uh, yeah, we've been waiting. What's going on here? There's whole. You're getting good service. I'll take one. <laughs> <laughs> the only guy talking here. Or what? Uh, I'm like Jesus Christ. I'm like I'm not gonna be able to fucking finish the show. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of beers flowing here. A lot, a lot of beers, beers tonight. Yeah. Um, I didn't know he brought one. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, everyone's fucking just all. There's a stack of beers in front of me. <laughs> We're trying to get That's your waist in. I'll take that one. <laughs> oh, that's good shit. But yeah, I'm very excited for that. Yeah, I imagine they're going to tie in everything with that one. There's always so fucking yeah, that's good. That's great. I mean, they, if there's ever a South Park uh, yeah, dude, season, we've been talking like about this that. Like, it. The, with all the shit that's been going on and everything, they've been fucking like, what is South Park going to do about this? Like, they're going to, because you know they're going to nail it. You know they're oh, going to yeah. fucking... Oh, yeah. Not it's going to be great. And I've seen, like, a few clips, you know, the kids in the plastic and all that shit, but, like, I, yeah, I'm very excited for that. So are they just doing the one-hour thing? Or are they doing a season? I don't know. I think it's just a, a no movie. Idea. Just a one-hour movie. Man, that. Trey, oh, yeah. if you're listening, uh, the, the Tegrity Farms thing is, is run its course. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys, but it's been, like, three seasons of this fucking Tegrity Farms horse shit. We got it. Alvin? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's all right. That's good. One, we got a, we got a bum headphone. We're good. We're good. Hello, hello, hello Red Ruckus. What's hello. up, Pete? Red Ruckus is answered. <laughs> hello, Red Ruckus is going to be having dinner at Milky's too. Ooh, yes. He sure is. There's definitely a good dinner at Milky's. Friday the eighteenth. Yes. Um. So, oh, uh, yeah, it's on wood. Um. So Pete's down here to grab some of the grease from the jug. Is this true? Because you're going to bait a bear. <laughs> All right. Like an actual bear. This isn't like a gay an bear. An actual bear. <laughs> Milky's is on Elmwood and Buffalo, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the bear front, though. There's um, some problem bears on my hill. Um, I don't like when they get close to the cabin or anything. So yeah, I wouldn't like that Being either. a hunter yeah. that I am, I usually like to take care of them. Yeah. Nobody, quickly, nobody wants bears by the cabin. No, fuck that. Unless they're if we're cool. Out there, if we're out there partying or something and a goddamn bear comes up, I mean, if he sets snacks you, that's cool. Grabs whatever out of the cooler, that's cool. But yeah. has a little porridge. That's probably yeah. not going to happen. You got to have, uh, if it's a polar bear, you got to have some Coca-Cola ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if a goddamn polar bear comes from Antarctica <laughs> down to Franklinville, <laughs> we got fucking problems. That's we're going to open a Coca-Cola sure and say, an epic, epic journey. How the first fuck of did all, you get here? First of all, if anybody even sees one, we better check what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Bill, I said well, have a Coke and a smile and shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been a black bear that got into the pile, you know. <laughs> Never <laughs> Goddamn, some bitch turned white real yeah. quick. He was really rolling around for a while there. I'm going to sit next to Cap because he's my friend. <laughs> yeah, it's a bear that got like the Joker thing. Yeah, like he fell in the fucking chemicals and turned white. Yeah. Now he's got a Joker bear on your I hands. Think nine foot tall, just sitting on his ass. So you're gonna bait him. You're gonna bait him with the grease from the grease trap. Oh yeah, grease Oof. trap. That's some good grease. Yo, right if there. I ever yeah. kill Jug a bear. Grease. And it's from the jug grease. There's a lot of people who think, put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. The motherfuckers will eat leaves, logs, anything that it shit's poured on. <laughs> logs. <laughs> Stones. Stones. Dude, you have you it. ever seen the Grizzly Man documentary <laughs> about that guy who goes out <laughs> in the woods and, like, essentially films or keeping up with the Kardashians with a bunch of bears? He's this crazy yeah, gay oh, yeah, guy yeah, yeah, who yeah, thinks yeah. He, I've talked about it almost no, as yeah, much yeah. as I've talked about it. OJ, right? That is some fucking fascinating shit. Because he thinks they're, bear. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Spoiler yeah. alert: the guy who knew nothing about bears, yeah, uh, uh, totally got ate by a bear. He totally yeah, got ate. Totally got ate. Yeah. Got ate. Yeah. yeah. He like he just gave <laughs> tragic. Him fun names and like made little backstories. Like they were right. like like he was doing a little <laughs> Mister Rogers talk show with yeah. the bears. <laughs> I love you. Wait, buddy. so that guy got ate by a bear? Oh, yeah, he's done. Yeah. Yeah, he got mauled. 
I know. I'm big, just gri- kidding. big Grizzly just <laughs> wasn't the snuggle bear from the uh, laundry detergent. I guess. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that'd be pretty cuddly to hang out. There, there's a lot of. I'm starting to realize there's a lot of bears that I wouldn't mind hanging out with. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. If Winnie the Pooh rolls up, you'd be like, dude, you can hang, but you got to put some pants on. Right. Yeah, you okay. can't be doing the shirt with no pants thing. It's oh. weird. Yogi's totally weird. weird. I mean, Yogi would be. Yeah, good. Yogi's all right. He's a bit yeah. of an authority figure. Yeah, yeah. Fior, <laughs> <it's your> feet. <laughs> isn't he? Like, isn't he run the fucking shit? Dude, the Fior shows up. Holy fuck! He, he wears did. a donkey. Yeah. I'm, I'm confused on Smokey the Bear. <laughs> Smokey? Yeah. Smokey? Is he putting out bear. fires, or is he yeah. just trying to smoke a joint? <laughs> Smokey the Bear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's probably an old both. man now. I yeah. think Smokey the Bear. I think he's just trying to fire it up. Just yeah, firing down heaters. I think his nickname was Smokey. But then he accidentally set a fire, and his yeah. community service was to do a bunch of commercials. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he could be in the. He's probably a member of the Antifa now, setting those fires out west. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You, you burn smoking. down every national park. You need to help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good old Smoggy. <laughs> So yeah, I'll party with a bear if we, you know, put some jug grease next to you, sit out in your backyard, and maybe the bear will show up and fucking hang out with you. And that's the plan for Pete, I believe. Yeah. If it does come, I'm gonna kill a motherfucker. So, <laughs> do you eat him? Absolutely. Yeah. What, what are you, are you using for our? Have you ever fed a bear? bear? I, have I have you ever eaten let's bear with you? It, I've eaten bear. It, let's put it this way: I've killed a lot of animals. All right, and deer is phenomenal. Yeah. But if you want to go down the list. If you ever kill a moose, which will cost you fucking 20 grand, nobody has that. They just go on a goddamn moose hunt. Unless you live in Maine, you can do it for free. But moose comes first. My uncle lives there. Moose comes first. We can go up there. Antelope comes second. Antelope. Venison comes third, which is deer meat. Elk, venison are about the same thing. And then you work your way down the line. Caribou. But the caribou probably just be a little bit below fucking deer meat. But well, That's pretty fucking good, man. Where's bear? Oh, Where does bear rank in Bear there, Bear ranks right just above. They're number six. No, no. Bear, <laughs> I would put bear in be- with the category of deer and venison because, or that's deer and elk. Because it's a little tougher. You it's make a, a lot of stew out of bear, right? Well, you can, but it's a different textured meat if you trim it. Like perfectly, you you know, bears got a lot of fat. You run the fat down, you can do whatever the hell. Well, you Well, they want. eat a lot of porridge. Oh, they eat a lot of they porridge. They do. They eat porridge. Mm-hmm. They eat anything that you fucking throw in front of them. Yeah. You want to throw a dumpster in front honey. of them? Well, you got damn dumpster. <laughs> Where does the centaur honey. land on that list? Ooh, Jug <laughs> grease. The scent line. The centaur. I you, feel like well, the top it, half is yeah. a, you can't eat because that's a, the man. Good that you brought that up there because the scent line. What do you, whatever's cooked in the jug. Is in that grease, and that's what they're fucking smelling, which could be a million goddamn different things. <laughs> yeah, it's all the yeah. you know nachos and all the shit we're making. <laughs> Depends so, on uh, which trap you get. That bear thinks he's yeah. coming in to a beautiful feast, and then I'm like 20 yards away, and bye what, bye bear. What are you using now? In this well, situation? I hope I smoke one with a with a bow, but oh, I've shot one with a gun before, but I'd like to smoke one. With is a this bow. a nighttime stock? Or? No, you can't do that. It's illegal. <laughs> even even baiting bears. I assume <laughs> not. Oh, yeah. I'm just legal. picturing you on your front porch here down in Franklinville. Just, <laughs> yeah. you know. if, if a bear comes in the front porch, it's probably not going to do very well if I'm down there. Put it okay. that way. Okay. You're going to hit that motherfucker with an arrow? Boom. Any goddamn weapon. It better be a good shot, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. If you're coming to my porch, you're, it's not faring well for you. No. Or, Did you ever hunt out the window down there? Let's <laughs> uh, like wake up and like, grab your gun and <laughs> stretch. Schindler's List style with the uh, suspenders down, light yeah. a cigarette, and uh, just there's start. A, there's an animal out there. Yeah. Well, just for crawdaddies. There's been, my gun. <laughs> there's been some times that I've uh, just not felt like waking up and walking up into a tree stand, and I would lay in my cabin and I wake up and look out the window. Yeah, that's up. what I mean. There's a tasty little morsel right out there. You're done. <laughs> if that answers the question. Tasty yeah. little morsel. Yes, yes. That was a very detailed answer. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'm, I'm really shouldn't be like this, but, you know. No, because it's you're right. Like, bears would be taken over. <laughs> like you gotta keep them that. shits and yeah, seriously. you don't want them taking over. Remember when like somebody uh, shot some fucking lion 
and everybody's like, they shouldn't have shot the lion, and they all put up memes of the lion. And the village in Africa where the lion was was like, yeah, that lion ate five of my kids. Yeah. Fuck yeah. that lion. <laughs> like, so, sometimes you got the movie The Ghost in the Darkness? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's sort of the same thing. That shit happened. You know, I know. <laughs> Those are the PETA people, and Maybe. you know what? They got a point, but if you're banging pots and pans in front of me while I'm trying to kill a deer, I'm going to shoot your ass. Simple mm-hmm. as that. So don't bang yeah. a fucking pot and pan <laughs> in front of me in the middle of the woods on November dressed in white and brown because guess what? You're going to die. Simple as that. <laughs> well, you gotta- so, see, I love you, PETA people, but don't come my way. Simple as that. <laughs> You fair, gotta fair do warning, a, fair a warning. Tony Soprano and have yeah. one of your soldiers just sit in the back with the AK-47 if the bear shows up again. That one's for Adam. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, uh, you know, fucking, you gotta, you gotta live in balance and in harmony with nature. And like, if someone's gonna kill you, you're allowed to kill it, right? We yeah. are not fucking top of the food chain. You don't want bears roaming around near civilization. No, oh, no. hell no. If one came up and sat with us, though, that'd be fucking chill. That's shit. a different story. Yeah, that's Man. like Russian shit. You got to train him this guy. Be a friend. Yeah, <laughs> that's got to come from a young age. Yeah. Can you imagine me in third Hope that plane, bear likes the party. Yeah. Playing up in the Adirondacks, just jamming out, and all of a sudden a bear just comes up and just chills out with the rest of everybody dancing. Like, yeah. what the hell's going on here? You guys got any food? A seven XL friendly photo. He rides up on a unicycle. (laughs) (laughs) Like, damn, dude, inflatables, laser lights. These guys have taken this show onto another fucking level. Shit. I eat all those mushrooms mushrooms earlier. I'm good to go. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, man. Like, there's videos of Russian dudes just hanging out with a bear like it's a fucking dog. Brown bears. They just bear party with them. You got to, like, get them when they're little and, like, raise them like that. (laughs) <laughs> so they're like your friend you know what I mean you can't just like go in cold with a bear he's just gonna do bear stuff you gotta get him little and like raise him so like he does he, he identifies with you he's gonna do bear stuff <laughs> he's gonna do what bear. bears do dude bear's got a bear <laughs> you're my father <laughs> yeah you gotta make him think you guys are homies and then he'll be cool and he won't rip your face off yeah, there you go. <laughs> Till he's pissed off and you didn't feed him the right way, then you're fine. Yeah, yeah. feed him. <laughs> that was not nearly enough food, but you look pretty delicious. Yeah. Yeah. He starts having those <laughs> dreams of like the human roasting. Like, you know, yeah. You're sitting there talking to him, and in his head, he just sees you as just like roasting, like, <laughs> spinning on a fucking skewer. <laughs> If I just uh, pawed this guy right into the fire, he'd taste delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I could sit right on him, and he couldn't even move for a while. Well, that's the thing about the Grizzly Man guy. Like, he was a twinky little dude. And I feel like that bear, like, just didn't even get... And his girlfriend was with him, and she was a skinny little hippie animal lady. <laughs> and, like, that bear probably at the end of that was like, yo, I'm still hungry. Disappointing. But, like, yeah. Very disappointing. That guy was annoying the fuck out of me. Someone had to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Someone had to do it. Like, I got like 10 pounds of meat off you bitches. You got to give the guy some credit. He spent years out there with these bears just filming them from like super close to him. And the bears would just be looking at him. And they'd just be like, the fuck is this guy's? Like, they just didn't eat him because they were like kind of freaked out by him. Yeah. You know, like, this guy's fucking weird. I don't eat this guy. There's something weird going on with this dude. I'm gonna. He's on some shit, and I'm gonna be on whatever he's on. Yeah. You know, some you got to be on drugs to be fucking filming a reality show with these bears. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. It's right. Eventually, up my, though. Right up my alley. Eventually, <laughs> you're like, this little dude's got to go. Yeah. I can't take it. You anymore. know what? I'm hungry, and this guy's <laughs> annoying. They're raiding his yeah. bag while he's sleeping. Like, well, it was like a fucking. We don't want to eat him, but let's see what he's got. Yeah. I think there was some reason why, like, food was low for the bears. The salmon fucking got lost or something and didn't come upstream. <laughs> <Yeah>. fucking, like, <laughs> so, like, the bears were fucking hungry. They're like, yeah. I don't care. I'm eating yeah, the fucking get, little guy with yeah. the camera. Yeah, I don't that's, it. that's what happens. Yeah. I'm eating the little guy with the camera. It's your I'm time. It's a pretty simple calculation for bears. <laughs> food, yes. Food, no. I need food. Uh, I'm going to eat yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we've, I believe we've discussed this, maybe, but, like, all right, so bears hibernate, and, like, before they hibernate, they eat, like, all sorts of shit that essentially corks their asshole. They eat all sorts of honey. Maybe that's what Pooh was doing with the honey. (laughs) Honey, is this true, Pete? I've heard this. It glues you up. Yeah. They eat till they can't eat anymore. It binds, Uh. it gets them up for hibernation, so they have all this food in them to, like, burn through. find their den. And then they go in it. Yeah. <laughs> that worked for chill. humans? So 
I don't know. I've tried it at <laughs> festivals where I didn't want to use the bathroom. Picture yourself <laughs> hammered as fuck, and you got to shit yourself because that's what a bear does in its own den. It sleeps for, f- oh, God, probably four months, but shits everywhere inside yeah. the den. Oh, okay. So, so it to- doesn't cork itself out because I had heard that they cork themselves, and then at the end of the hibernation, they wake up, and it's like that scene in Austin Powers when they unfreeze them. <laughs> And he takes a piss for like 10 minutes. Like, they take a four-month bear shit all at once. And it piles up to their butthole. Beautiful. Yeah. That's <laughs> fucking crazy. I would think that that is probably 80% true that they would do that, but some bears definitely shit and they're done. 100%. 100%. And then it's like the, a pre-hibernation. And then, and then if they have babies, the babies probably eat that shit. Oh. oh. Yeah. Because mama's sound asleep when she has the babies. Dude, yeah, yeah. bear so. breath must be awful. They're eating <laughs> their parents' shit and jug grease. Yeah, Fuck. That's no puppy oh. breath there. No. <laughs> that is not puppy breath. <laughs> <laughs> You are cubby breath. <laughs> you are yes. breath. Even the kids are like, what the fuck did you eat? Would you eat grease from a bar? <laughs> <laughs> the jug. This is disgusting. Jug All grease right. filtered through a bear like a fucking... Uh, all comes full circle. Like a vodka slide, but it's through a bear and it comes out the other end. Ugh. Put it this way. If any bear oh, man, eats jug grease and goes to bed, it's probably going to shit. Well, oh, it's going to have the runs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'll, that show we got the first night of hibernation. We, you know, a scientist probably could define this. Like, if it ate jug grease, I guarantee that bear's shitting at some point in the four month hibernation. That's it. Night if one. it doesn't, Jesus Christ, it's a world record. No, night it'll one. be sliding right out. <laughs> bear won't even know what happened. No. Um, all right. Well, there's our nature segment. Yeah. Uh, we're going to take a little break. It's sweet. Someone had to take up where Steve Irwin left off. Yeah. No <laughs> All right. Captain's Drug of Thoughts. We'll be right back. Check it. Check one, two. Check, check. Microphone. Check up. Um, yeah. So, uh, okay, we're back. Hi, how you doing? Huh? Captain's Jug of Thoughts, huh? Did you like that bear talk? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> bears. Go bears. Captain's Jug of Sauce going on in the oh, kitchen there. Sure we is. do have an episode called Captain's Jug of Sauce from the last time you made sauce. <laughs> right. I'll yeah. tell you what, that kid makes the best sauce in the world. <laughs> We gonna get a bear uh, sauce this year? We'll see. We'll see. We can put some, we can put some bear meat in that. Um. Yeah. So Red Ruckus is here talking about his bear stuff, Ooh. but when he's not hunting bears, he's playing percussion at a band called Friendly Foes. Ooh. Yes, he is. And uh, we have an album coming out. I played one of the tracks a few episodes back. Uh, I'll put another one on the end of this episode. But yeah, you know, with the whole uh, you know uh, little pause in live gigs, we had a lot of time on our hands. Started spitting some originals out and uh, recording some shit down in my home studio. Yes, Thermopolis sir. Industries Enterprises. <laughs> um, yes. But fucking, uh, yeah, so that should be coming out any time I actually uh, finish it. <laughs> I got some mixing <laughs> well, and mastering go. to do. I got a few all-nighters I got to pull. But, you know, with those late-night dinners at Milky's, it's hard to get those in. He's, right. He's the leader. He takes care of everything. I'm the old-ass motherfucker in the band. I don't know how to do any of this electronic shit, but I just play the beats. He gets all the shirts made. I get and you get all the people there. I take I take care of the merch. And you know all the people. I have four friends. They're all in this room. If, without you. They're all, they all show, have headphones on. My shows would just look like this, yeah. <laughs> Pete brings in no, the people from all over the place. Because with all the fish tours and shit, you got a big history doing fish tours, so you lots yeah. and lots of yeah, you picked up a lot of stragglers along the way that now come to our shows. <laughs> there's there's been some hot years from ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, yeah. ninety nine, two thousand. Took a break in two thousand one for some other extracurricular activities. And Fight then, terrorism. 
<laughs> I wish I was. Somebody had to fight it. Yeah. We picked her I'll back. I'll start with the Bears. <laughs> we picked her back up in 2009, though, and just been going hard yeah. ever since. Yeah. Love that band. I spent half my life with that fucking band, dude. Did never yeah, end. Man. There will shit. be never any. Everybody. Nothing like, that like a band. No. And especially that 90s run, like. We talked yeah. a bit like last last episode about the nineties themselves, like just the whole nineties. So much yeah. shit was popping off left and fucking right. And you could yeah. say that about like, you know, late sixties, early seventies too. Like not just the when you think of the sixties you think Jimi Hendrix, but like also you know, fucking Motown. Also early seventies, Bob Marley and shit like that. Like yeah. there was shit called culture uh, Scorsese movies. Like there's just cultural these things that happened in the nineties was definitely one of them. Nineties is a hell of a decade. And Fish was a giant part of that that Huge. was happening like over in the corner. Yeah. Huge. That like they had eighty thousand people at their shows. <laughs> And, like, the local news would do a quick story on it. On yeah, there. Like, guys, under the radar. Yeah. That's what, psh, what, pish. While the fucking... The internet was coming out and the music industry was fucking struggling because they were being choked out, you know, by downloads and Napster and all that, Fish was fucking raking in the money. Oh, hell They're yeah. like, oh, oh, recession in the music industry? I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? We just ordered a giant hot dog to ride around. And they would get <laughs> beat up in the press. 94 yeah. bucks. Hot dog. Yeah. Hot dog. Yeah. So many stereotypes, you know. Yeah, yeah of course. The best, the best thing back then was... There wasn't any fucking cell phones or any there you shit, go. dude. There you went you with 30 right people on tour, and you might have ended up with yeah. two. No cell there was, phones. There was yeah. message boards, and people would go to these message boards trying to find their friends, and like there'd be messages on there like, I am here. Who the fuck? Who's yeah. I? There's 30,000 people. That must here, be dude. my buddy. There's yeah. th- that must be him. There's I am here with middle finger. Like, yeah. but, okay. I know well, that guy. It's, but when someone did actually want to leave a name, how cool is that? Yeah. Absolutely. No, no yeah. cell phones. You walk. Like, meet us over at the third light tower. You know, 100%. Right. We'll be there. And you always found him. 930. You time. always found him. Yeah, there was never a problem. You no. would find somebody. Put it that way. You'd find yeah. somebody. 96, 97. There's no the cell phones were in your car like this big huge yeah one. Gordon like, Gecko I, I shit, still yeah. carry those I'm out in the shows, lot man. I couldn't yeah. get into those the show phones <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm calling nobody I'm out in my car but I can't get into the show but well, I got my 80s phone I still bring it to every show <laughs> yeah <laughs> just no, in case they, the whole system goes down the 90s were good dude this is a tough tough fucking decade to beat that's for sure yeah cause a lot of like, inspirational shit in that hip hop and fucking all of it I mean, you know, the grunge, even though that's not the word I you know, you really want to use, it's just whatever. That yeah, whole you, thing was all the like just so much great shit yeah, that no. was happening, you know what I mean? I still was fucking clothes. Seinfeld? The fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> boom, sounds boom, shit. Boom, boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so hopefully, you know, during all this time there's some good stuff that'll come out. Maybe the Friendly Foes album yeah, will be a cultural good. touchstone. Friendly Foes. Yeah. These guys are killing it. I know. We, uh, we we made this little thing. You know, for our first album, this is my opinion on it. Like, we'll cover every aspect that you can think of from fast tunes, jammers, to slow tunes, hip-hop, you name it. It's all our original stuff. Yes, we do a lot of covers because we can, but we like to do our own things when we improvise, and we got these jams, and we'll just come off of them, and the leader that runs the show, I mean, this kid just does crazy shit. He'll just be like, well, we're going to take this and write lyrics to it, and that's going to be a new song. I'm like, hell fucking yeah. yeah." (laughs) Because then you you do the... Because the thing I do want to always keep about the live shows is the DJ party aspect of it. I love dropping into songs people know. That's a huge part of it. You want to do that. It makes it a fucking party. It is a party. It's a party band. But then in the jam of that, we go into like one of our own songs with shit that we wrote and like specific little things and then go out of that into the other song. You know what I mean? You want to blend the two worlds seamlessly. We spin your heads. There's never a lull. With the friendly foes. No, there's not. No, we'll take you. We'll 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 take a song and start playing it, and the next thing you know, at the end of it, we went through four different bands in the same yeah. fucking riff. Changed keys like, eighty seven times. Shit. <laughs> you guys just went from fish to the dead to hip hop back to fish, and then on to with the dead or some other crazy classical tune. And you're like, oh my fucking god! Just some random ass song I heard on the radio <laughs> that day. You yeah. want to play this right now? Yeah, we'll fucking, do it right now. we it's heard- a maze. Yeah, yeah, this is amazing. It's amazing. We heard that we were Never at the jug maze. one night. Never tried this maze. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that fucking um, that Lenny Kravitz song was on. 
I want to get away. And I was like, fuck it, we're going to do this uh, yeah, on shit, Friday. Why not? And we just threw it in. Why I figured not? out the riffs, and we Fly might away. never do it again. That might have been the mm. one and only time. <laughs> right. We might do it again in 20 years, and everybody's like, holy <laughs> shit. And I'm like, yeah. fuck, 20 years for what this. What about that, that good, that, uh, They haven't played this since fucking uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. 2020. <laughs> <laughs> the foes did Lenny Kravitz. What about yeah. the good vibration? You think you'll ever break that one out again? Barnaroo was a great time. You guys, Yeah, Barnaroo was fucking awesome. Yes. Yeah, I appreciate um, you letting me come up there and play. Yeah, uh, dude, my I came up and jammed some sand, sand with us. Yeah, sand. Joe Cocker. Yes. Oh, yeah, I forgot about yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good time. Oh, yeah. Though, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, the good vibrations was because, like, I just, I don't know, to me, that's just like a Charlie song, right? Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. Feel it, feel oh, it. Like, it's great. Oh, it's yeah, a total sure. Charlie song. So I was like, I got, I'm just going to toss that in for a minute. I think I you came up to. there and sang a little on that one. Too. I think, yeah. Because yeah. uh, there's a third good. verse that I didn't really get because I was like, how much of my time am I going to spend, like, really finessing Marky Mark's words? <laughs> <laughs> like, memorizing it? Like, there's a limited amount of space up here. Right. And I'm like, I got to. Marky Mark can't uh, take up that much of it. I already watched them fucking Transformers movies. That's my. I'm full. My Marky Mark quote yeah. is full. Unfortunately, Charlie wasn't even in the vicinity for that song. Oh, he, was, it. He, was, awesome. he was building the fire in the yeah. back area. Yeah. Wow. So. Well, then he missed it. Yeah. Oh, Good old Charlie. Were dancing. And he'll have to keep awesome. chasing it. That's the one he's chasing for yeah. that yeah. <laughs> That's a Charlie part. That's going to be a bust out in like 15 years. Yeah. But I'm saying and there's a third Jason, verse where like Jason he the coot. talks about being anti D R U G G I E. My body is healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My rhymes keep me wealthy. Like he talks about how fucking drugs is bad. Kids don't do drugs. Be like Marky Mark. And I wanted to play that at a party where like we were not being like Marky Mark. That would be a good bar mitzvah song, maybe. You know? Yeah, good vibrations. I thought everyone there was like Marky Mark. That would be if we ever have to play like an <laughs> earthquake relief show. I'm gonna play that song. <laughs> feel it, feel it. Come on, come on. I'm just doing. Uh, that was yeah. Awesome. Everybody was just drinking like health shakes. And, you know. Having I was a really having a legitimate time. conversation the other night about like if, if you got like a scientist to get together and make the perfect psilocybin smoothie, smoothie. And there was oh. no booze or no cigarette. If you had all healthy shit at a show, it really would be like awesome. It would just be so peaceful. It would be fucking great. It would be so like different. But you ain't gonna make any fucking money. <laughs> it's like everybody bought one and they're like, "Oh, that's enough. That's fine." Yeah, yeah. Like, we good need to sell you thirty of something. Thanks for the yeah. two bucks. <laughs> that's where the beers come in, and then that's where like yeah. fights come in, and fucking girls. And are... how many people are gonna be at this show? <laughs> I don't know. You need a lot. The Melky one. Yeah, twenty-three. Well, that's yeah. my point. How Twenty-five many are percent of what we're supposed show. to have. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if you're hearing this, the first. You guys 30... going to the health show tonight? <laughs> I'll see you there. No. Nah. <laughs> that's the thing. Is you? I'm <laughs> hydrated. You would draw a super fucking pretentious, I'll be there. shitty I feel crowd. Fantastic. <laughs> the funny you they wouldn't bum. listen to the music. They spend the whole time talking about their travel blog. They're yeah, starting. See, and they would just see be such a do the most push-ups. Yeah. <laughs> we covered all of Elmwood. <laughs> By the way, if any of you Buffalo fans are going to be up there, get there early because you're only going to be about 30 people and you're going to be in for one hell of a show, put it that way. One hell of a dinner. Yeah, yeah. dinner and a party. <laughs> yeah. One hell of a dinner. Uh, yeah, so there's yeah, there's some updates, I guess, uh, for the Friendly Foes uh, situation, eh? you know? Albums, Just keeping music. it going, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking of pulling a Stone Roses here and we drop like one dope album and then kind of vanish for a little bit. And then we come yeah. back, and it was never as good. I suggest yeah. checking out some of their originals. Well, yeah, absolutely. They're they're awesome. What what are the names of them? We, we got, got Harmless. Yep. We got Armworm. We got Quick B. There's one called Quick B. Those are the three we released. Uh, where, yeah. where can we find these? Uh, they're on the YouTube. They're on. Well, go to Thermopolis.com. Thermopolis, click the yeah. fucking friend thing that says Friendly Foes. There's links that'll take you there. And if they're, you're a YouTube user, if you're a YouTube user, if you follow Thermopolis on YouTube. Or Monty King, you. Monty King, you. come okay. up. Yep, there you go. Either of those. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's where we just put all the shit. Yeah. Don't use my name because I don't have a fucking clue. I've been showing my daughters uh, <laughs> some of the friendly foes. 
uh, clips on YouTube. Your daughters are getting it. down to Roy G. Biv. When oh, Roy G. Biv was playing at the show, your daughters were fucking throwing down they hard. They get down to everything. They like to dance. That's Dude, awesome. The Bivers are fantastic. They take after their parents. They take yeah. after their parents. <laughs> yes. They were throwing down, man. Just like you do. <laughs> Mom, I'm going up to Dad. Leave me alone. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I love music. So uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be spending uh, Thanksgiving in the Smoky Mountains with Hot Dog. Yeah, oh, Jesus yeah. Christ, at Mr. Hill's house. Uh, we're gonna have a little visit from uh, Mr. Hill and from uh, one Mr. Slade Smitty. Ooh. So you're gonna see these two in the same room at the I'm same time. I'm gonna see these two in the well. Supposedly. You might. You might. This, this is, might be this, it. This is this is what I've been told. So. <laughs> Hot dog and Slade Smitty in the same room. Oh my Christ! Remember that scene in Mrs. Doubtfire where like he's got to put <laughs> yeah. the pie on his face. Yeah. He's got to run and pretend I to sure be do. both people. That's what you're. That's, well, that's what you're going to experience. I'm going to be watching for that shit. Don't <laughs> think yeah. I won't. Of course, yeah. <laughs> hot, dog. hot dog. Hot dog. Like get that fucking turkey off your head, Crown. Because <laughs> <laughs> knock off the accent. Why? I know it's you. <laughs> Why are you wearing that? <laughs> Stop making voices out of this fucking turkey's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty great. We're going to have to figure out. So, yeah, I mean, uh, it's already kind of, it's pretty much set. Like, nice. We, uh, and we're sharing a place. Like you're getting a cabin? Oh, we're getting a cabin. Jesus Christ. In yeah. the Smoky Mountains. What, and, town, uh, what town? What's the nearest town? Just in case we have to uh, tell the police it, where we look. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's near, uh, I believe, near uh, Gatlinsburg. Gatlinsburg, Tennessee. Yeah, yeah. That's in so Slade's that is, fucking backyard, right, right in his wheelhouse. There. Hell yeah, <laughs> Mr. Oh, Hill. But, Mr. Uh, Hill lives near there, actually. So. Yeah, he lives right there too. So, yeah. like, we're gonna have a bunch of visits. Gatlinsburg, famous and, battle there. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna have a hell of a time up in the mountains there, and. <laughs> And God we're gonna see you. what happens and see if uh, see if they're uh, the one person or two people. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah we'll figure out a uh, we'll do a conference call podcast too. Oh, we're definitely gonna do one. <laughs> yeah, because I'm thinking like There's it would one. be better if you each had a phone and you were all in separate rooms. Yeah, because then it would be like you each have your own microphone instead hey, of everybody huddling around screaming into the same phone. This right? is you know me. What I mean? Well, we're going to see what we get. We're going to be up in the mountains. You should just bring That's this true. We're right going to see what kind of reception we get at all. <laughs> yeah. You know. I'll tell you we what. We're going to see uh, these bears. We might, sure. we, we might have to go down to Slade Smitty's house. And, we might have to see the radio of that shit, and I'm going to have to like get within range in order to record it. Right. right. So where does Slade live? Where, where's his hometown? I don't know. <laughs> Somewhere in Tennessee. <laughs> We're we're, 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 we'll, fi we'll figure this out when I get there. I mean, we're still not sure if he even exists. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's the guy that hot dog man so on who, a plane. Who picked this trip? Like, who said hot let's dog. go there? Oh, hot dog. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, because I was trying to get him to come up here to do like a camping trip with the family. So um, we got hot dog, hot dog's wife, cocktail okay. weenie. Everybody, <laughs> everybody's coming. <laughs> So uh, the farthest north he was going was Tennessee, and he said, "Ah, <laughs> well, you made me that, that was the halfway. Half that, that's the halfway oh, point. Yeah, that's good. Huh? So the, that was what we agreed on. That's and, awesome. Um, we're gonna cook a big old bird, uh, you know, nice. up in the mountains. Gobbler. And uh, when's yeah, this? He, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Oh Jesus. Yeah. I love killing so, turkeys. Well, he uh, actually asked me to ask you to come. To shoot the turkey. Yeah. <laughs> he put a hit on him. Now we're going to We need a hit, man. We need the best calling, in the business. If you're calling ruckus to kill turkeys, you're talking I'm to the right Tennessee turkeys, right man. They're a little you different than the ones up here. You right are to the right person. So, oh, you calling the ruckus? Yeah. yeah. Damn, that's all you had to say. <laughs> <laughs> you take, feel better now? <laughs> I, take room and, I take room and board for 10 bucks, but I will get you your bird. <laughs> like, Pete, we just needed the one. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you need got a six. fucking bouquet uh, of dead fucking turkeys in yeah. the morning? Well, Tennessee's an eastern bird. I got a million of those. If it was a little bit more Midwest, it'd be fantastic because I goddamn need a Marion, but Tennessee <laughs> doesn't cover that, but I'll Definitely kill a bird and just cook it, skin it, and kill it. Do everything for it. You hear the oh, joy in his voice? That's a, that's, yeah, I know. That's sinister, know. Yeah. man. So that's the plan. So uh, yeah, if you want, if you want to meet us, you're more than welcome. Yeah. The only thing about Tennessee, 
as you go from 70 to zero driving like there's no tomorrow. Motherfuckers are stump jumpers, dude. They can't drive worth the fuck. They just fucking floor it, stop, floor it, stop. Why hey, man, stop? once I get to Why? the cabin in the woods, oh, yeah, I don't plan on leaving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop. Just <laughs> leave your canoe at home, by just the way. Get, right. Just oh, I'm leaving get the canoe at home. there <laughs> is the problem. You go, you're on the main road, you go 70 miles an hour, and you're down to zero. Okay, maybe there's an accident. There, there, ain't, you, no fu- you, you, there ain't no fucking accident. You can, buy, you can buy guns there like that day, right? Oh, you can buy a gun and bring it across any border you want. Can you bring me so, one back? A gun? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Uh, well, I, was, I don't know. It please depends don't on ask. if I take a plane or not. Please don't. <laughs> depends on if we're on a recorded show right now. Please, <laughs> please, don't, ask me that. please don't ask me that question. <laughs> No, uh, no, Tennessee not turkeys, at all. huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're um, Easterns. They're good. Easterns? The Smoky Mountains, mm-hmm. fantastic. Well, you, uh, they plump. Oh, they're definitely plump. Tennessee they turkeys. Better be. Tennessee turkeys. Big birds and Tennessee, Tennessee turkeys. Like, dude, what are you, you guys can, doing you for can, the dinner? You can get what? a white. Are bird? you guys gonna cook a Thanksgiving dinner down there? Or yeah, that's the plan. plan. Catch, yeah. catch your own, or Jesus. Nah. Christ. They need me. I mean, unless he comes. Yeah. Are you going to make peace <laughs> with c- some of the native Tennesseans? I could go off Hill's porch. Well, and Slade's Smitty and, and uh, Nick yeah. Hill. Dude, this is, you guys are the pilgrims. They're the fucking Indians. And they're, well, I think so. Yeah, because you're coming into their territory. <laughs> I'd dress up. Yeah, we're going to shake hands and eat some cranberry sauce and then give them a blanket as a present. All right. <laughs> could you imagine? So right what you're saying is I do have to bring a gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to trade for their tobacco, yes. <laughs> Well, well I do. <laughs> tobacco. Um, you almost had a Slade Smitty situation yourself the other day. You told me about. There was a fella who was trying to make friends with you. Because this whole Slade Smitty thing is hot dogging with this guy on a plane. Yeah, it was fucking pretty weird. I, feel like I, I haven't made a new friend there. since I was like 12. <laughs> I don't like People are just still trying to make new friends out there, I guess. Uh, so what, what happened? I don't, well, I was at... Um, right the other day, and uh, I was buying a bunch of junk food. <laughs> Uh, I had a little bit of a sweet tooth that day. And uh, there's this guy behind me in line, and he's like, uh, he's like, oh, look at this lad. He goes, I'm going to that guy's house. And I was like, ah, uh-huh, you know, like, whatever. Classic grocery store joke. You know, yeah. if you got a cart uh, full of whatever. Anytime you got a cart full so, of beers going you know, to a party, somebody's going to be sure. like, hey, I'm coming. With- hey, Mike, you could go put that in my car. Hey, everybody gets a big yak it's out of it. It's all mine, bitch. So, you know, as, as everyone here knows, like, counting? Rite Aid is right there, yeah. you know? So I'm walking home with my fucking ice cream and cookies. And, yeah. fucking, fucking- and, uh, <laughs> and this car pulls up next to me and is like, Hey, do you live there? You need a ride? And it's that guy. And I was like, oh boy. Is this guy fucking hitting on me? <laughs> well, look. All right. In his was, that defense, not a ju- was that not a junk you food got joke? Ice cream and cookies. <laughs> you have the meal of someone who just broke up with their boyfriend. <laughs> so maybe that's what he was inferring. Um, and you anyway. bought ice cream at Rite Aid, which means you have money. <laughs> well, no, because ben ice cream is ben and Jerry's not cheap was 2%. Right oh, okay. I know, I know. That was the only reason I got it. I only get it when it's 2 for 6. Ice cream okay. is not cheap. Well, then he's it's like this. It's 6.49 for Ben and Jerry's normally, and it was it, 2 for 6, so I got it. Was it fish food? Well, so you're a deal it was seeker. fish food. <laughs> you, are, yeah. you are a deal you seeker. Beat that. This is our economics right. portion of the show. Yeah. <laughs> this is where we break down the stocks. But it was just a little odd <laughs> that he pulled up next to me stocks. after that. Like, I was like, yeah. He's like, trying like to be a, a nice guy, I guess. I'm hoping so. He was trying to slate Smitty. He was trying to be your buddy. You guys would have been doing Christmas together. So, yeah, what maybe. happened? Maybe. Uh, I said, no, I live right there. Thanks. Oh, okay. <laughs> you didn't ask him up for a cookie and some ice cream? Some uh, fish no, food? I've never asked a man yeah, up for food. cookies and ice cream. Can I please <laughs> come up with you? I love fish food. This guy. <laughs> well, you bought fish food and a bunch of snacks. He's probably like, this guy's got weed. <laughs> so that was the, when I called Thurman and told him, he was like, dude, you know, he probably thought that you had weed. And I was like, ah, oh, maybe I should have yeah. invited him up. You bought a fish-themed <laughs> fucking we, ice we cream. We got to burn a joint. Maybe yeah. we did nah, become friends. Yeah. I'm going to go with Paul Smoker. <laughs> See? See? Yeah. He wanted to smoke a joint regardless. Well, right. <laughs> either way. Got a cool yeah. I'm glad that I said no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, there was one time I was walking. I used to walk my sister's dog a lot and because uh, her kids were too little to do it. So I would be walking the dog, and it was like kind of like misting. It wasn't even raining. And this dude pulled up, like this young kind of wigger kid, and like looked out the window. He was like, yo, bro. Get in, man. I'll give you a ride. Like, there was a fucking hurricane or something. Like, we were trying to escape New Orleans. <laughs> he was, like, spazzing out. He's just like, get in. I'll give you a ride, bro. And I was like, 
I'm good, man. Like we're good. Dog's <laughs> good. Like I'm just good. Light, you sure, bro? It's raining, man. I'm like, not really. I'm it's, like, hey, yeah, okay. it's just a light mist. I'm good. Yeah, it's no, I'm good, light. man. He was like, "You're all we're, you're gonna drown. You're gonna die." <laughs> he probably sent Kathy. the National Guard in for me. Hurricane <laughs> Kathy came through. <laughs> what is this? There's a hurricane happening right now. Is the name Kathy? No, no, it's Sally. Sally, it's Sally, Sally. Lay Alabama. down, Sally. Lay down. Alabama yeah. and the Panhandle, of Florida. Isn't Sally what you call everybody that's a pussy? Right. So well, it, must, you, it must not be that <laughs> strong of a storm. Nah, it's, it's got to be a weak Sally storm. Sally. <laughs> Did I ever tell you? I think it was Duke. No, what the fuck was the place called? Might have been called Dukes, but that was a different place. What the fuck? It was a sub place in the Falls, and they had. This fucking sub, and it was like a steak and cheese with David onion steak rings. David Steak Hoagies? No, it wasn't that. It, wasn't, it didn't last long. But they had this sub that was like steak and cheese with fucking onion rings with all the craziness on it, lettuce, tomato, all that shit. Sounds and great. Mushrooms are on it. Yeah, it was a big, huge, and I was like, that is the greatest hangover meal because it's everything. It's all the food groups sure. right in the same thing. And so it's that. But at the time, I wasn't really digging on mushrooms. I didn't want the mushrooms on it. I don't like so mushrooms either. I LSD. looked under it. And they had a so that was called the Beast, and under that was a sandwich called the Little Sally, Jesus. and it was literally said the Beast without mushrooms. <laughs> I was like, I can't call these motherfuckers and be like, oh, can I have the uh, Little Sally? <laughs> can I get the Beast without mushrooms? <laughs> oh, you gotta <laughs> say it. <laughs> no, you can't. You cannot get the Beast without mushrooms. You gotta say it. One Beast. Come on. Hold the mushrooms. Can I have the, uh, can I have the Fine, little... I'll take the little. Sally. I hate the little Sally. <laughs> One little Sally for the gentleman right here. And don't He's fuck here. me on the lettuce. The yeah. little Sally guy's here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the usual little, little Sally. A little Sally and we a gotta pick up. <laughs> Oh, we didn't need your name. Don't worry. We, we knew know. it was you. We know. <laughs> You're in our phone as little Sally. <laughs> You're the only guy who orders it. Yeah. I need the little Sally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Well, dude, there's some goofy ass fucking names and shit. There are. Oh my god, there was like a like a. I want to say it was like an ice cream place we went to in Maine, like a little old school ice cream, you know, soda shop thing. Banger. And like some of the names of the fucking thing were like the Tutti Fruity Surprise, and it's, it, they were like all these Teddy. names where I'm like, I'm not saying that. Do you want and the rainbow Leo, like, delight? Yeah, I can't be a grown man a being like, hey, can I have the uh, sugar <laughs> stars and cream smiley delight treat? Make sure it's an extra waffle. I'm a grown corn. man. There's a hotel in my name <laughs> in the city. Rainbow. Yeah, and like I can't do that. I'd be like, Lee, you have to pretend all this is for you. <laughs> Double sugar cone. Because I'm gonna eat this shit, but I ain't fucking ordering it. <laughs> I don't want it to drip on me. Lee, you don't mind going to the window, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, hon. I'm, I'm not ordering that. <laughs> well, she went up and ordered something. We were at this candy place, and she went to the thing and ordered and got a bunch of stuff. And she came. And she's like, "Here, come with me. I need you." And I followed her and the, the girl at the register started laughing i'm like what she's like i rang all this stuff up and then your girlfriend goes i go i gotta go get my wallet and then she came back with you <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, uh, I'm so just, we were talking about accessory. bears this whole time and uh, hurricane teddy apparently is on the way Yo. no what way. is that <laughs> Ooh, I love teddy is that what it's called hurricane teddy yeah yeah That's... i'll take teddy all day yeah fuck yeah <laughs> he's a goddamn bear <laughs> Yeah, teddy bear. <laughs> Where, where's he? He's cuddly. He's brewing in the golf. Cuddly but yeah, muscular. He's <laughs> yeah, he's coming. Nope. Hurricane Teddy. He's Hurricane coming. Teddy. You kind of do you retire uh, those the, names? Well, there was Andrew, and that the name didn't go anywhere. No. Uh, but Katrina, he you really. They I would like to see a graph Katrina, that's like Katrina, like n girls named Katrina after 2004 probably just Chicks plummeted. Chicks got like fuck. <laughs> oh, you yeah. can't Chicks be got, called. There's nope. like a wave of like Medusa hair coming out of it. Like, oh, we just killed your whole fucking state. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but fucking chick's named Katrina. Now, here's the thing. You could nickname a chick Katrina. Ooh. If there's a reason to. <laughs> Cause she's catty. Well, you probably go on Highland she's, and like Highland. She might Ab ruin your sheets. Like that. yeah, that's, that's a common name up in the fall. Right <laughs> yeah. yeah, many calls. Katrina. 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 Yeah. Katrina is written on she's, the report. Uh, Squirt. Katrina. Squirt Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> whoops. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whoops. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, all right. Well, that's gross. <laughs> uh, all right, man. Captain's Drug of Thoughts. We want to thank our buddies for hanging out with us. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Um, keep well, on. Thanks, everyone, uh, in the background, too. Yes. Yeah, thank you for our... We had a weather report come in with the name of the thing. Right. Yeah, this is over there. This is like fucking... Katrina. I feel like Dan Rather, Maya, people right coming here. in shuffling papers and shit. Uh-oh. There's a special eating event on uh, the 18th, which is Friday, <laughs> that you might want to attend. Maybe, maybe not. Don't matter, but, you know, you can eat good there. I got a... Uh, Omega Gang is bringing me in um, a, a case of that uh, Barrel Master crew oh this week, God. which I'm very excited about. So a little shout-out to Omega Gang again, too. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so come on in uh, and grab some of that. No, that's just for me. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> well, fuck you guys. <laughs> you're not going to get any of it. It's for Unless cat. you're a good friend of mine, you probably aren't getting any. <laughs> so you're <laughs> cracking one right now. Right? You'll get a sip. So, but uh, no. Uh, well, just shout out to those guys personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. personally shout out to those guys. We're not guys. allowed to promote you anymore, so it's pretty much just like, hey, shout out to yeah. uh, if you're this you're a pretty good friend of mine, you're going to get me come over here yeah. and drink some really delicious beer. Yeah. But uh, outside of that, then no. Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys next time. All right, Captain's Drug of Thoughts. Keep listening and tell your friends. Go leave a fucking review on iTunes. Yeah. Even if it's Folks. bad, I don't care. And Folks. go watch Folks. The Grizzly Man. It's hilarious. Folks.